Hi, it's Dabs and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this video. I want to show you how you can take your designs inside of Lovable or whatever AI platform you're using to WordPress. AI has come to stand. There's nothing we can do about that, but we can find a way to make AI work for us. So if you are vibe coding, if you're designing stuff, whether or not in Bolt, whether or not in Lovable, in Kusa, it's fantastic but most times we find it extremely difficult especially if you have had experience using wordpress before you are very familiar with wordpress and you love the idea of taking whatever it is you have designed instead of lovable to wordpress i believe this video is for you this video will show you exactly how to use ai to take your design inside of lovable to wordpress so without further ado without wasting so much time let me take you to my screen and let's work on a random project to see exactly how to get this done on my screen here is lovable lovable is just at lovable.dev i'll leave a link to lovable in the video description you can check it out we want to build something inside of lovable let's say we want to build a pet website just for tutorial purpose i really don't have any major project i want to share in this tutorial uh first things first like i will always say on this channel is to use a tool like ChatGPT or whatever ai tool grok deep sea Claude, I love to use ChatGPT and Claude a lot. So right now, let's start with ChatGPT. Let me just tell it I want to create. So what I've just said here is I want to create a pet website basically for dog training. I sell dog training services and sell dog related products. I want to come up with a well structured prompt to design these with Lovable. But we can still go a step further to maybe suggest color template in case you want to work with a brand, you have colors design. Maybe we can just work with something random. Brand colors palette for dog website. So I have uh, a link here. Let's just see uh, what colors will be recommended for dog website. So dog website, you can see the colors. I'm not even sure if I love these colors, if they, Makes sense for me. Mm. But again, just for tutorial purpose. Okay, maybe I, maybe I should just work with this. Okay, so let's just work with this. I will just copy these colors. Or maybe I should just copy all of them together. Okay, they work. this is good. All right. So now let's come back to ChatGPT. All right, so here is the color palette for the website and I've pasted this in. Again, we can even be more specific. Like I always say to people that the more specific you are with AI, then the better the result you would get. So in case you have a primary color or secondary color, you can specify that here. I can copy out this particular one, the first color here, just for example, right? And then I can come down. I can also still go down and just generate random possible font for a dog website uh maybe i should just google that too as well i'm not even sure if i want to go through these right now but the reason why this is good is because you know when you're using ai tools like lovable as a matter of fact i'm using the free plan here the free plan just give you five uh, credits per day so you want to minimize the amount of prompts that you give it you want to make sure you have a very, very highly optimized prompt that tells you a lot of things that you want to do. But again, you don't want to bombard it with too much information because it can just freeze or hallucinate sometimes. But by and large, it's just best if you have a very well detailed prompt. So for this tutorial, I will just leave this as is. I won't uh, bother about the front. In your case here, feel free to go through all of the asshole. Uh, so let's just uh, give this to ChatGPT. Let's see what ChatGPT is able to come up with. Okay, so now let's copy out this prompt and let's use this prompt. Maybe I should just copy the design note as well. Let's just go now to Lovable and then let's build out this inside of Lovable. I would have loved the idea to let Lovable know that I want to build maybe pages, uh, home page, about page, uh, contact us page. You need to specify all of those things. But for tutorial purpose, I just want to work with just one page. And basically, this will just be a landing page, a home page for this design. So I'm just telling you this for you to know exactly how to prompt a tool like Lovable best. So I will just give this to Lovable and let's see what Lovable is able to do. All right, so Lovable has come back here with the design for us and that lasted for about five minutes. So you can see, okay, five minutes, 54 seconds. That's like about six minutes to design this landing page here. Let's have a scroll through. Uh, let's see this. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. 
Okay, images here broken. All right, those can be fixed. Oh, this is amazing. Beautiful. I think this is this is this is this is beautiful. Personally, I would have loved to prompt this for that to make some corrections here and there. But basically, this video is not really to show you how to use Lovable or how to prompt Lovable. But what I really wanted to do here is just design something very random like this. And the part two of this video is to see how we can take this design to WordPress. So right now, the next thing we want to do is to publish this. Uh, let's just come up here and let's publish this. Yes, I want to publish this. Yeah, you just shipped. My site has been published online. So now I can just click this. Let's see our website in real time. So you can see this. Uh, beautiful, beautiful website here from Lovable. This is good. Maybe not perfect. I really don't like it. Like you can see this button here is not showing. Unless I overrun it, the, there's still a lot I need to prompt the AI to do. Personally, I'm not sure I love this. Uh, and this is not linking anywhere yet. This is just a landing page. So a lot needs to be done. I'm not one of those guys that will tell you that you can design a very perfect website with just one or two prompts. Uh, lovable. You would need to spend some time going back and forth, prompting this AI to design stuff for you. But right now, let's say that you are very comfortable with WordPress and you want to take this design into WordPress. You want to be able to have a dashboard, use a page builder like Elementor to be able to edit this page. Uh, inside of WordPress rather than inside of Lovable. Uh, so now that's the next part that we want to go through. I will be using a tool called Clone Webex. I would leave a link to Clone Webex in the video description so you can see this would literally help you clone any website and render them in WordPress and it support page builder like Elementor, Bricks, Breakdowns and Gutenberg and you can use this also on Webflow. If you are not really the WordPress guy, if you really love Webflow, then this would also work for you. Fantastic uh, tool here. It's been off for a while. It has gone through lots of rejig over the years and I want to believe that this would be fantastic. You can literally use this also for free but this only work on Gutenberg and Webflow at the free version. You can do two sites with 10 exports a month, but this is not responsive and that's the reason why I would not always recommend that you use the free because this would not be responsive across every of the design. If you have time inside of WordPress to tweak your design to be responsive across all design, by all means, use this literally for free. But if not, if you can spare a little more like $10, you would be able to be able to use it across 30 sites and then you can use all page builders. You have a fully responsive design, premium support, something like that. But if anyone asks me, I would always encourage people to go the lifetime plan because you'll be able to use this. I have a lifetime plan here. And as a matter of fact, I invested in this tool before it had this amount of page builders. With that, even if this work with other page builders tomorrow with Framer or even if instead of WordPress with maybe DV or maybe any other page builder, you have this literally for free. And that's what I advise people to do. So if you come here, whether or not you are using this for free, or you are going to pay it, you can just go try now or buy now. If you do, you should be able to check out and then it go to hub. It should just bring you to a project page here. You just need to create a new project. In your case here, it will be empty if you're using it for the very first time. Uh, so my project name, I can come back to my dog website. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, this is it. I can copy the URL of this dog website. And it's called Paw Perfect. So I want to remember that. So let me come here. I can just call it Paw Perfect. And then I can paste my URL here for this project. And then I can create a project. And that's it. It will bring you here. It will tell you to download your Chrome extension because you will need your Chrome extension to be able to rip that design to WordPress. I already have that Chrome extension installed. So it's here. So what I want to do right now is to come to my website here. I want to scroll through the website to make sure that every element on the website is fully, fully loaded. And once it is, then I can launch the Chrome extension. I can select a project which is the last one here called Paw Perfect and then I can add this page. And then instantly, as you can see here, Clone Webex will simulate this page and it will render this design for us inside now of Clone Webex. So you can see this. 
this is super super beautiful uh, you can scroll through to see that everything here has been copied and it's now beautiful so once i'm okay with this design the next thing i want to do now is to start copying this design into uh wordpress so right now i can over around uh the design here so this is copying the entire hero section here if i click into this it will give me this option here to either select this or select the parent selector uh, if i click on this right now this hero section here if i toggle on this you can see there is showing me exactly what I want to. So the background there is exactly what I'll be copying, but that's not exactly what we want. I will come to the parent section here. If I click on this, so you can see that. So basically I won't be using this at all. What I would love to do is to come up here. Uh, since I want to just copy the entire page, I'll just come down here to the entire page, but you can use the selector tool to select any part of the design and then maybe copy them section by section or hero by hero, whatever it is you want to do. In my case here, the entire page is good for tutorial. And then I can come here to my page builder. You can say I can work with Elementor, Gutenberg, Webflow, Bricks or Breakdance. For this tutorial, let's work with Elementor. For Elementor here, there is a requirement. We will need to install their plugin to be able to use Elementor. So if you click this, it will download the plugin into our browser which is good and then we can scroll down here what we want to do is to come to export and you can see this has been copied to clipboard i can always still come back here to copy this to clipboard again which is okay so now let's go to any wordpress website that we want so we have a plugin here ready for us to use to as well so now for tutorial purpose i have a random website here uh, so let me come to the back end of this wordpress website and i think i operate this website with elementor as you can see uh, so what i would love to do here is to install their plugin first so i'll come to plugins i'll come to add a new plugin and let's upload this plugin so let's come here let's drag this plugin here and then let's install the plugin all right, plugin installed. Let's activate this plugin. So now let's create a new page. Let's come here. Let's add a new page. I can just give this a random name. Let me call this page demo. I really don't want this even visible. I can come to my page template here. I want to make this Elementor full width. Uh, this is good. And then now let's edit this with Elementor. All right, so now let's paste our design here. So what we'll do basically is to come here, right click, and then paste from other side. So because I'm using a Windows, it says use Control plus V. If you're using a Mac, it will say use Command plus V. So I'll just come to my keyboard, I'll type Control V, and then the design that has been copied to clipboard will now be pasted here. Good, so just like that, you can see that the design here has been pasted into WordPress. Isn't this super, super good? Because I make this elemental full width, it's still picking header from here. I forgot completely that the design here has a menu of its own, uh, but that's beautiful. So if we scroll down here, let's see the quality of the design of the export. Oh, this is fantastic. This is good, good. This is fantastic. Uh, let's inspect uh, the structure of this design. So this is a container here. Let's open this container. Uh, okay, this is an HTML. Okay, this is giving this a class. We can leave that. Let's open other containers. Let's see this. Okay, so you can see here, this is a card box here. So you can see the text here says poor, perfect. Uh, so I can change this logo here to whatever it is I want. Well, I think I like that. So this one here should be another container. So these ones here are button. But ideally, I would want to edit this if truly this were to be uh, a menu. So I would want to make this a navigation menu instead of making it a button. So if you click into any of the design here, you can see this is a heading. And for heading here, because of the changing colors and everything, they needed to add some code to this. This is beautiful. Uh, so you can see transform your dog. I can literally edit the text here. And I love, love, love this. So I can click into every of these. You can see this is a card box here. I can change the text. I can change the text to text one, text two. And I can link this if you really do want to do that. Uh, this is fantastic here. There's also a cut box here. You can see this was also styled too as well. Uh, but one of the things that this doesn't do well is the images. The images basically most times are external images. And you can see this is an image from, on, uh, from Onsplash. 
I would never be comfortable to be displaying images from Unsplash on my website. But basically what I will always encourage you to do uh, with your images is for you to always copy the image URL, download the images, and then upload the images to your own WordPress website and have them live. So I would want to do that for this so I can just come here, I can control A this and control C this. Instead of this as external image right now, I can just say upload the file. So you can see that is gone. I can uh, load the images, right? I can paste the image here into my browser just to find the image online. So this is the image. I can then now uh, save this image uh, into my computer and then I can come back to my website. I can then now uh, upload the image here. So now let's come here. Let's just drag the image into my live website. So the image is here. I can select this and voila, my image is back. So now the image is not pointing anywhere. This image is literally inside of our WordPress website. This will give you a much more faster website rather than backlinking to images from Unsplash. Super cool and awesome, right? So I can edit the text, the pricing. You can see all of them here. Amazing, amazing stuff. So if this was a product you are practically selling, if you're using WooCommerce, uh, you can copy the link of that product and then you can update the button link here. Uh, you can see the button text is here and then you can, uh, you can put the link to the checkout page here so anybody can easily add this to cart and then they can check out, right? Super simple and easy. That's how to do this. And I think this is super awesome. So what I would do basically right now is to publish this. Okay, I was supposed to take the header and the footer away. That's super easy. I can come to the page setting. I can come to uh, my page layout here. I can switch this to Elementor Canvas instead of Elementor Full Width. And then, beautiful, you can see that this is gone. The header there and the footer is gone. Beautiful website here as designed. So now I can update this. Let's publish it again. Again, I'm still noticing some alignment issues here. You can see these, these uh, things here are not aligning. There should be space here. These are things we can rework. And also, there's a form here too as well. Let me close this uh, stuff. There's a form here. All of these things are things that you need to rework inside of Elementor to just change them to a form. And I think this is super, super good. Now let's see what our website will look like in front end. Just like that, our design inside of Lovable, as you can see here, right now inside of WordPress. Here, how oh, super good. The same design here inside of WordPress. So this is exactly how to design soft inside of Lovable and then you can publish it to WordPress. I believe here is making the world super simple and easy today. Without writing a single line of code, I was able to design this. Lovable plus Clone WebEx is fantastic. So that's it. If you want to test out this tool, I have links in the video description. You can check it out and let me know your results in the comment. I would want to know if you find this tool super, super interesting. That's my time. If you want to see more awesome tutorials like this, do want to subscribe to this channel. I will see you in those awesome tutorials. I remain Dabs. Take care of yourself.